there's a whole process that goes on during slow wave sleep. Um, and that process is, is usually considered to be um, kind of the data saving process mm -hmm. where you're holding on to the actual experiences that you had, right? And that's very important. You don't want to lose the memories for what actually happened. Mm -hmm. And that goes on by this reactivation of these memories over and over again in these loops that require you know, the hippocampus to speak to the, to the cortex mm -hmm. where you have all these memories um, uh, lodged in, these, in, in the cortical areas. And so through this reactivation of these memories during non-REM sleep, slow wake sleep in particular, um, and stage two, you cement those memories as good as you can into your long-term memory. But then you need to also create associations between those memories and everything else that's in your brain, right? right? And so that is what is thought to happen during REM sleep, right. um, where you can start to integrate things and start to find connections between things, which is why REM sleep is also associated with higher creativity. Because it's that kind of free associative brain that is able to allow your new experiences to then be randomly kind of associating with all the other things you know about the world and your life. Yeah. So is that why, is that why right after people wake up, you know, there's like stories of, forget who it was, but I think the song was yesterday that he woke yeah. up and he knew, he like knew the there's tune or something of, like that. Of examples. And it's right like, after you wake up, which it's like when you know, your REM sleep is like optimal, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. There's a lot of examples of great discoveries happening from people waking up. Right. And we did a study where we actually said, well, if that's true, then we should be able to give people a creativity task and have naps that have only non-REM sleep and then compare those to naps that have non-REM plus REM. Mm -hmm. And the naps that had REM sleep should be the ones that showed greater creativity. And that's exactly what we found. We found a 40% increase and creativity in the naps that had REM sleep compared to the naps that didn't. Wow. So if you're trying to enhance your creativity, sleep, make sure you're getting your in morning, morning sleep. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's an excellent point. 